When the action takes place behind the scenes, anything goes. Forklifts, lockers, chairs, tables, broken windows. We've seen it all over the years. We've definitely seen a lot, Michael Cole, but when it comes to these two, we ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, I just hope they stay away from my rental car. He should have ponied up for the insurance, you cheapskate. No one trains to be taking these maneuvers in this kind of environment. This is just danger stacked on top of lunacy. Down to opponent, and a double axe handle smash. Intercepts that attack with a knee right to the stomach. Precision strike to the back of the neck. Things could go wrong here in a hurry. This fight has been taken to a very unforgiving area. An impact on any of these surfaces at the wrong angle could do real lasting damage. Smartest decision he's made all night. Nothing good comes from fighting up there. Look at it. This is getting out of hand. Continuing to dissect the leg of his opponent. Oof. Wow. That was a stiff shot with the shovel. He's a grounded opponent with that shovel. Absolutely savage. He foiled that attempt. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Oh, that right there will rock you. Oh, coming down hard with that shovel. An elusive Kemp there. Saw that one coming. Oh, no. The shovel right to the head. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Ducks under. Let's go behind. Into a German suplex. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Oh, forearm to the back. Look out. Exploder suplex. He had it scouted. Vicious blow to the back of the neck. Oh, man. Oh. He saw it coming. Ah, oh, knee smashing the face. Orton with a Fez press. Here come the bombs. The Vipers lined up his prey. We know what's next. Damon was ready there. Ooh, connects to the back of the neck. Show of disrespect from Kemp. Oh boy, climbing that ladder, and there's nothing good at the end of it.
I'm not sure if he's trying to escape or take this fight into a new and dangerous direction. I know that area wasn't meant for this kind of stress. Who knows if it's even meant to hold that many people could collapse at any moment. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Someone, this has to stop. Oh man, my goodness, hitting so hard that the bolts just bursted off the railing. Just one step ahead. A fall from this height could be cat. No, 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 no. Good God, good God, that does it. That'll do it. I am in utter awe. That had to be 25 feet in the air. Using every inch of the arena at your own risk. Danger be damned. Don't do it! Oh my God! Letting go of any apprehension and just taking flight from, what, 20, 30 feet? I've seen buildings less tall and no one was jumping off of those. Gotten himself into a very precarious... The table's on fire! Is there a fire extinguisher around? Pretty sure they plan to make the competition the fire extinguisher tonight, Saxton. Coming back down the ladder, he didn't like the look of things from up there. Not sure what he has in mind here, climbing that ladder. He must have something planned as he climbs that long ladder. Oh, I'm hyperventilating. Oh, no! Oh, an air bar from up high! Why you're up on a catwalk is ridiculous enough. Then to jump off is lunacy, utter lunacy. It's insane in the membrane. Crazy insane, got no brain when you're trying something like that. Just steel and concrete everywhere you look. There is not an inch of safety anywhere. Brutal knee right to the face. And the damage. 